okay, okay, okay. Another round of empties. 21 days ago, I sat here and did an empties video. And we back with another one. I don't want to be long, so let's just go ahead and get it started. I'm going to start with what I just recently finished and work my way down. I think, hold on. Okay, keeping it true to form, y'all, we have first snow in the hand. So, Chris Air Frozen Pine Snowy Mint. It was beautiful. Scrubberry Snowflake, Scrubberry Whipped Cream Bergamot. It was beautiful. We have Fresh Balsam, one of my favorites. Eucalyptus Cedar with Balsam. Talking about a scent that this and uh, Crush Candy can I don't mind year round in a hand. So, nonetheless, it was beautiful. And then we have Merry and Bright. Y'all, this is from last year. This was very, very... I like this soap, y'all. It's a cherry pomegranate cider with musk. I really like this. I slept on that scent. And then I have a Merry cookie from last year in the faceted, the buttery shortbread vanilla. Um, it says vanilla bourbon ice and spun sugar. I never knew bourbon vanilla was incorporated into a Merry cookie. And nonetheless, I do have a candle on empty and I have a sugar snickerdoodle going now. So... That's five hand soaps in 21 days. I know y'all like, you're a household of one. I wash my hands, and being sick, I had to wash my hands. There's a eucalyptus teeth empty foaming wash bottle on the other side of the room I just finished, along with the eucalyptus stress relief. This is always on repeat. Y'all know that. And then you have the open your mind, which is the lavender cedar wood which was amazing. We have a Dream Bright Shower Gel in the mini. Um, this is that Vanilla Orchid, Sapphire Berries. I love this scent. It's really like a nighttime scent for me. So I finished that up in the shower gel and the body cream, y'all. Scratch Relief Spray in the shower, the Eucalyptus Open in my nose, on my bedding amazing not as good as the Vicks vapor tabs i don't do the rock salts or the baths in the bath tabs in this one but this in the shower gel did good um my stay naked foundation is 71w i finally finished this y'all and i do want another and some hand cream hibiscus paradise i'd be knocking these out the part that i don't even bring them to y'all a super size mascara from maybelline and no cover girl and my discoloration serum from the ordinary, not the ordinary, good molecules. And I really don't like it. I felt like it did my skin no justice. So I won't be repurchasing this. So last month, Wallflower Run, there's about eight of them down here, y'all. I had the apple crumble mixed with uh, cranberry woods. They had that round Christmas time. I loved it. I normally do eight. I do four of this one and four of that one. Finished a Born This Way Foundation. My Celestial Sugar Cookie Tea. I've been overdoing it on the tea, I know. But what I've been doing it on is these Vicks Vapor Tabs. Y'all, if you have not got your hands on these in the shower, you don't need a high-pressure shower for them to steam up. Unlike the Bath and Body Works one, but I drop them in as a bath bomb. Amazing. I can feel my nose about to drain now in several packs of eyelashes. Moving on. And because washing your ass is important, don't let nobody tell you otherwise. A Dove Renewing, this is a soft peony scent. I times it times the dream bright. I was very moisturized. I was very clean. I am that girl that'll wash two times a day. Yes, I am empty and then my coffee velvet scrub that i scraped the bottom of thank you again aries ashley because she got me with a new one and then i think last month's scent of the month was open sky i times this time the dream bright and i finished but what i did y'all i played it smart with dream bright instead of the full size i rocked the minis in dream bright and the full size in the moisturizing wash because i take no prisoners with moisturizing washes and just going through the house cleaning, mist in my fabric of Febreze Hawaiian is done for. And what else is done? I'm sad about my carrot cake coffee. I wanted to bring y'all this. Shouts out to Mel because she sends me flavored coffee from her grocery stores. This time's um, pumpkin spice cream and a little bit of my sweet potato cold foam. Got me through the whole fall, y'all.
If anybody out there that want to get into makeup but don't really know what to get, like your beginner friendly, your nice radiant beast, the Dream Irvin cover from Maybelline was amazing. I finished off this. This gave a nice natural dewy finish. Um, a Garnier Skin Boost, which is like a glow serum plus a primer. And my Mango Skinny Syrup for my unsweetened teas, my hot teas. You can use that on anything. Um... Twinkling Midnight Sky Shower Gel. This was amazing, y'all. This is that Midnight Flower Sparkling Vanilla Ice Blackberry. To me, last year, I classified this as a unisex scent. I'm finishing up a little bit of mist on my dresser now. And my Shiseido Cleansing Foam. This was the trial size. I want to buy another one. This face cleanser is $74, but it is amazing. And my Tried and True Revitalizing Hyaluronic Acid Serum from... CVS. I tell y'all about this all the time. Plumping, nourishing, getting that glow. The older you get, your skin needs moisture. On to these candles. You have the Joy, the Sugar Snickerdoodle. Um, to me, as I'm burning this candle, I'm getting very hometown sugar cookie. That sugar cookie base that we have times the cinnamon. Y'all, the cinnamon came out in these two single wicks together versus the three wick that I'm burning right there. I had the Love Hope. This is the Winter Peach Marshmallow. I finished off a fresh balsam, a hot cocoa and cream, a fur snow, which is the icy minty scent from Huntington Home, aka Aldi, a spiced apple toddy, which is like leaves but with a little bit of brandy. And a peppermint sugar cookie in the single. All my singles were either in the bathroom or back here at the beauty room. Two at a time. When I put out my empty pictures on Instagram, they'd be like, you don't come to play with the burn. Why do you? Because I don't. Another hot cocoa and cream. The ice cranberry pear bellini with that New Year's Eve run just finished up. A mountain teak wood just finished in the middle bathroom along with black side. These two together. I had these with land of snow on the kitchen counter. And then I decided to move these two to the guest bathroom. The freshness was coming all in the hallway. So singles work for me. If they don't work for you and your place and your space, then they don't. But I've been rocking them. And then what I rocked and didn't understand, this ice gingerbread cookie from Sonoma Homes, even under the warmer, it did nothing. So we're not going to elaborate on that. And I always have to have a nightlight candle on the stove. Crushed candy can is always good for that because it's that minty. It's that candy can. It'll knock out anything that you've been cooking. So I let that one finish up there. And let me grab some of these three wicks. Cinnamon clove, but... I remember I talk about her on IG all the time. She carries my whole open concept by herself. Uh, then I ran the hot cocoa peppermint on the back of that when that one was getting ready to finish y'all. Okay, my timer went off. But peppermint, hot cocoa, and cream, peppermint, hot chocolate on the back of the cinnamon clove bud when that one was running out. And then a good old spicy winter, y'all. This winter even still have scent. I had it on the warm. I'm going to put this one back on the warmer because she still got scent. Y'all don't know winter has clove, white woods, pine needle, clementine. This is an amazing, beautiful scent. I won't say underrated because we do sell out of it. And what I could have, what I should have passed on is the cinnamon spice hot cocoa that I ended up running off of this. And mahogany balsam, mahogany, juniper berry, balsam. What is not to love? I even paired them together. A clash of the Titans, baby. But it was beautiful in this apartment. And then Juicy Cherry. This one finished up in the bathroom. It took probably about a month. But this was a good one from Candlelight. It actually had throw and projection, y'all. So everything I do plays off and burn off of something. I have my berry spritzer here. I have my ice pear bellini. Those started uh, probably on the 27th of December. But by the time I showed Instagram, it looked like it was New Year's Eve. And then hot cocoa and cream running off the back of the peppermint hot chocolate. The cinnamon spice vanilla hot chocolate. And the cinnamon clove bud. We finish up. Land of Snow with the juniper berries running this off of a frozen lake that I finished and I broke the jar, but I also paired it with mahogany uh, balsam with the juniper as well. And 
amp this dream this beautiful spring like scent the solar crystals the iris the warm musk i love this in my bedroom so i finished this there y'all i didn't put this nowhere else i was selfish with that one and then a cinnamon pumpkin latte y'all this one had a lot a lot a lot a lot of latte so it took me about a month to finish this because i would burn it in the morning in the kitchen when i get up when i have coffee time or at my vanity again this one was sporadic but Huntington Homes did a damn thing with that latte note versus Bath & Body and that fallout latte. And this even beat out uh, Autumn Chai from Bath & Body as far as scent notes and projection. Another December 28th starter, Champagne Toast. Y'all saw my Try It Tuesday. Bubbly Champagne, Sparkling Berries, and Sweet Orange. When this one got halfway down the middle, I'm like, go ahead and tie it in, moving this from the bedroom, the Cranberry Pear Bellini. This is the Fuzzy Pear Nectar, Sparkling Red, Cranberry, Lush, Apricot, and Tart Black Currant. This and this, beautiful. And then a Merry Cookie, that vanilla cookie. They say bourbon, vanilla. I get no bourbon. I just get scraped vanilla sugar cookie. And the Golden Honeycomb. Let's talk about this because I know y'all like, but you just reviewed this. The Savory Honey, which gave no savory. You got Cozy Vanilla, Warm Butterscotch. Nonetheless, look how it finished clean, y'all. But I did like this candle. This was my night chill out candle. Blueberry Pie, Big Man Pajama. Finished that last night. And that first snow to go with the baby first snow, that icy minty one from Aldi. This was in my bedroom for a while. I was burning this since the 1st of December. It just took a while to get through. Okay, y'all. I had to pause to answer an unnecessary question via IG. I said this before. If your store sell high volumes of candles, come SAS, that store won't have anything available. You got stores out here that's brand new, that's back stock with merchandise. You got stores that are white barns that are huge. They're off site. They have room to store tons and tons of candles. Not all store situations are the same. Moving on during the duration of SAS. If it's not walking in the door as a return and can be put on that sale table, the store don't have it. Okay? All right. Moving on. I found this over here. I know I cleared the body cream, but it's the getting upset. My store don't never have anything. They don't have it, sweetheart. Like, what do you, you, they can't go in the back and make it and then mark it down 75% off. I keep trying to tell y'all this from the inside track, but keep waiting until sass. All right. A twisted peppermint. This had buttercream and peppermint and balsam. Um, I think I still prefer the crushed candy can better. And a peppermint sugar cookie on both ends of the home. These did amazing. It gave the whole apartment a powerhouse throw. And then the eucalyptus snowfall My try it Tuesday. I, the lavender in this, I want this to be a year-round scent for me. It's the winter lavender, the spearmint, the eucalyptus. This is one of the ones I want to find on SAS, but if I can't find it, I, I can't find it. I won't cry about it, but to me, that's a good year-round scent. And then bourbon, bad boy. I got a haul with this, but I told y'all how I almost fell face first coming out the door with this lost box on Instagram. You have the white pepper, you have the Kentucky oak, you have the amber, very top of the line masculine scent. It gets no masculine than that, but I'm going to tell you to soften your masculine, always keep you a blush poinsettia or a rose water ivy. Mm-hmm. Vanilla being Noel, I did this just because didn't even care for it. Smell like smoke. I think I overburned that one. And then the caramel oud. Let's talk about this. So out of the oud collection that's popping up at the test store, this has salted caramel tonka being in the oud wood. To me, they could have left the oud wood out of this because it was supposed to give you a sweet and spicy, and it didn't do that. I didn't even bother y'all with the review. This one really gave me nothing, and. I can almost make any scent work. I put it in my bedroom and let it finish off there, but it didn't move me to do anything. Just like the rose oud. The oud was too powerful for that version of a rose that they put together, which should have gave a luxurious rose. So, so far out of that one, the only one I love, well, 
I'm going to just hit y'all with this. I'm burning tobacco oud now, and I don't even like that. And I like masculine, manly scents, and I don't even like it. So that's that on that. So if I see these, I won't even be chasing it, which my store got them. But as y'all can see, I ain't brought y'all a haul on them because they ain't been all that. Now, again, at 75%, if you want to try them, have at it. But that Sunrise Marina, that Spa Day, amazing. Dark Amber Oud repackaged. Uh, we already know what that do. The other ones, i just been very underwhelmed by. And then I have another crate of six. I know y'all like, girl, you got more crates. Yes, I pack them up like this as I burn them. And then I got this pretty winter snowflake, vanilla snowflake. Frozen vanilla, fur needle, mint, and coconut leaves. I guess we can kind of chalk this up as a post burn, but this did amazing. Got a review on that. Pitch the 10 under the Christmas tree. Burnt this the whole week of Christmas nonstop. Fur needle, balsam, juniper, eggnog, and sage leaf. Ain't got a bit of eggnog from it, but this time fresh balsam had my fig tree. All three of them smelling real Christmassy. And then I ran the bougie uncle. The ice wants the balsam, the eucalyptus, the sugar pine, the balsam. This did not have the juniper berry, so I rotated this from the bedroom to the front room. So the bedroom to the front room. Um, paint petal tea cake. Why did I break this out at the beginning of December? Just feeling sick and just wanted to feel pretty. It's girly, it's pink, it's rosy. It's a cute little buttercream petty for cake. Nothing more, nothing less. And then my mahogany balsam. Y'all... Look how dirty he got because I finished him to the end. I don't care. I don't care. I let him go down to the gristle because he's a bad boy. And that scent and projection did not change. Warm vanilla, bergamot, and sandal wood. Hmm. Hmm. He always on repeat. And then marshmallow, blueberry marshmallow bar. Got a couple of these on standby. Pitch to 10 in my open concept. Sugar, blueberry, sweet vanilla, toast, and marshmallow. It ain't overhyped. It did amazing for me. And last but not least, you know how Bob Barker used to say to keep the pet population, keep your pet spayed and neutered and all this other PSA? Well, I'm going to tell y'all, keep them walls wiped down and keep them baseballs and the filter change. And y'all know I got two air purifiers. So I ain't telling y'all to do what I do. I do what I do because I like how to do what I do. I know how to do what I do. And I like how I do what I do, consider blending and whatnot. Bubbly Rosé, just finished this off, brought this home off to 75, tied this in sometime the beginning of sass to go with the New Year's run, the pink sparkling rosé, the orange, the cranberry juice, champagne toasters, low daughter. Um, snowy coconut frost, y'all, this is a beautiful, amazing candle. I have not burned it with white velvet coconut cake yet. But Sag snatched me some 75 off toasted coconut cookie from the localism unreleased line. We can tie that up in a nice little bow. White birch, uh, vanilla, iced coconut. I'm down to even burn that. No, winter time with that blend I just mentioned. Uh, white gardenia. Who got the body? Um, a winter cabin. Winter air, black pepper, warm amber. When I wanted to feel like a man was around me, I ran bourbon on the other end with the black pepper. This is white pepper. The Kentucky bourbon. And you have the amber in the cedar. Amazing. Y'all just call your girl Blendology 101. If y'all need help, hit me up on IG. Into the night just finished. I don't know what I did wrong. I kept moving it. That's what I did. That's on me. And blackberry creme frosting. This is a beautiful underrated candle. So much so... That that um that other one that came out with that glass lid was too much of the same thing, but I think this was better. Last spring's glass jar lid, something. I didn't even bother to get it. This one was better. We have blackberry, bubbly prosecco, and vanilla. But I'm telling y'all, the blackberry pushed through, punched through, came all the way through. I wanted a total berry run on that, so that's why you see blueberry pie. And this finished off last night, well, this morning. So to go on the back end of that, the blueberries, I'm burning the open sky now, which we know open sky have a blackberry note and a holiday cranberry kind of round this one out, rotating from the front of the house to the back, y'all. And that concludes, I don't even know how much candles I got. 
I'm being in the house more, hey, my 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 self care, take care of myself, a good bath, a candle, sports and a candle, anything revolving around a candle, and that's it. Oh, and this one from Aldi. This big boy. Ooh, this took almost too much to finish, y'all. Winterberry. Eucalyptus cedar with a spice. It's a big old boy. Sat it on the dining room table. We'll burn it from time to time and let it do its thing. And I done. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Uh, Pink Lavender Expresso Review. Coming up.